Well, 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 it's quite rare on this channel to say that we have some good news, but it's not just a promise, it's actually happened. The UK government, Boris Johnson's cabinet, have successfully drained at least part of the swamp of the establishment. Hello to you all freedom fighters, uh, don't forget to click on the bell next to the subscribe button to get notified, we'll come back to you guys every half an hour throughout the day to give you all the news updates, not just the doom and gloom, but also the happy news. Let's talk about one of them. Do you remember a few months ago when Jacob Rees-Mogg, who was, uh, is responsible for all, they're draining the swamp of the establishment basically, the, the government efficiency and the Brexit opportunities, whatever that means. and. Uh, he promised, he said, well, I have, I have a new project. I'm going to do a efficiency drive and uh, get rid of the waste, get rid of the wasteful people, the woke people in the civil service and uh, do some changes. And we, we actually talked about it and we, I praised him. I said, good idea. I'll believe it when I see it. Thank God. One of the few things that this government have done, actually, that we now believe it because we have seen it. All this this package, whether it's the waste or the getting rid of some of the woke civil servants and changing the structure, a tiny bit that he's just done instantly has saved us almost four billion pounds. Now, this is a very, very good start. And not to, for them to get complacent, watch this video and say, oh, there we go. Everyone's happy now. Let's just stop. Don't stop. Keep going. Because while this cabinet is now going to be completely reshuffled because Liz Truss is going to be making some changes, but I believe that a lot of the people will be the same people. Hopefully not. We have heard some, obviously, rumours that certain people will go away. Um, apparently, Prince Patel will no longer be Home Secretary. We've heard rumours that uh, uh, people like uh, Suela Braverman could become Home Secretary. Great news. Uh, but again, it's not just about the individuals, it's about what they say and what they do. Uh, so someone like Jacob Rinspong has been pretty consistent. You know, despite his flaws, he's been very good. So £4 billion save that's very kind of again reassuring it said that one of the issues was obviously civil servants the lazy civil servants who were working part-time or working from home where but obviously still getting full-time pay that's been one of the issues uh, cancelling some of the woke projects that saved us a lot of money uh, getting rid of stonewall from its, uh, some of the departments that saved us a lot of money and of course they're uh, making the whole structure slightly more efficient so well done jacob reese mark while we criticize his cabinet a lot and when they do something right, we praise them, right? Now, he has also come back, um, Jacob, to say, I could do more. I could have done more if it weren't for Rishi Sunak as chancellor, who apparently prevented a lot of these reforms at the time. So, Jacob and Smog's come out to hit at uh, Rishi Sunak or fishy wishy, whatever you want to call it, <laughs> wishy washy wishy, saying uh, the amount of money saved could have been even higher had Rishi Sunak been more cooperative with his efficiency drive. Now, it's all partly could you say, oh, it's hearsay. You know, one side would say something, the other side would say something else. But we've heard things like this from multiple people, not just Rhys Mogg, but many others in government as well, that uh, Rishi Sunak has been an obstacle when it comes to a, a conservative reforms in this government. That's been one of the issues. And of course, Rhys Mogg came and said, that Rishi Sunak kept cancelling the committees uh, at the last minute, not giving it enough power and uh, sticking to the 2021 spending review instead of doubling the Quango saving target that he was pushing for. I mean, this is not good. Now, on the one hand, Rishi Sunak doesn't really have a chance properly to win this leadership election, but never say never. That is, you can never tell with, with the Tory party anyway. Imagine if somehow Rishi Sunak becomes Tory leader and then prime minister. We will have a lot to deal with uh, on our hands, and especially this channel. At least we'll be busy, but uh, not good busy. So it's going to be quite chaotic. Now, I'm going to come back in half an hour. We're going to talk about the other side. Let's talk about David Lammy and Angela Rayner, because they're talking nonsense as usual. So subscribe to the channel. Click on the bell next to it. That's the best way to get notified. I'm my 2CN. We are the media.